Lionel Van Prague was born December 17, 1908, in the beautiful city of Sydney, Australia. He was the only child of his father who was Jewish named Louis and his mother named Mozilla and she was from India. Lionel was a bright student in school and he was also a very gifted athlete. He went to Cleveland High School and he went to Redfern Technical School where he learned how to repair those typewriters. At age 15, he was a novice motorcycle rider at the old Olympic Speedway in Sydney. He was a handsome chap. 1926, Lionel saw Speedway at the Royal Stadium in Sydney. He liked it. He joined the races. From 1926 to 1927, Lionel rode in Brisbane, the mainland states, all the racetracks there, and also New Zealand. In 1931, Lionel joined the British League. He raced for the Wembley Lions, and he raced for the Lions for eight years. qualified for three world championship events. In 1938, he placed fourth place. 1937, he placed seventh place. Lionel's crowning moment was the 1936 World Championship, and he was the winner. He won the first world championship in recorded history. Lionel's championship did not come without controversy. He ended up with a tie at the end of the event with Eric Langton. Part of the controversy came where Langton, he broke the tapes in that tiebreaker and he was disqualified from the race. And Lionel was very upset also and he said, hey, Langton has to race me. I'm not gonna win by default. The British referees, they finally agreed that there would be a runoff after they disqualified Langton. And the first turn came and Langton was in first place. He was winning uh, Lionel and the race continued for all the laps. I think it was four laps. And on the fourth laps, uh, Lionel went ahead and he passed Langton at the finish line. Did one of those Bruce Penhall moves, just that nipping you by inches at the finish line. And Lionel Van Praag was the world champion, the first world champion. The crowd went nuts. They went crazy. The controversy existed a few years later when a reputable source came out and they said that both Langton and Lionel, they had a plan that whoever was in the first turn on turn one first would go ahead and win that championship and they would split the prize purse. And what happened was, is Lionel went ahead and screwed up those plans. He won by inches at that finish line and he won the world championship of Speedway, the first one. But I wonder, hmm, I wonder, did Lionel really share that purse with Langton? <laughs> And then that dreaded World War II broke out. And Lionel, he joined the Air Force. And he was a gunner. And then he advanced to a sergeant. And then he later advanced to a lieutenant. Lionel was just an amazing talent. His days in the Air Force did not come without dramatic experiences. For example, in 1942, his plane was shot down in the ocean.
in Sumba Strait, and he was in the ocean with all of his fellow crew members. None, none of them died, which was great, but they were in the ocean for 30 hours in shark-infested waters. And Lionel was a part of rescuing and saving some of his fellow mates, and he went ahead and won this award. They awarded him a gift of honor of the George Award. Lionel won that George Award for heroism and bravery. 1945, Lionel left the Air Force for good. He went back to Sydney and the Sydney Speedway Fairgrounds, Sport Grounds, and he became a promoter for the next three years. He was a racer and a promoter. That's called double dipping. Woo! In Lionel went back to the British League. He raced for the New Cross Rangers. He raced there for a season. Lionel raced for the Rangers for a year. He came back home. I think he raced there for another year. Then he called it competitive speedway quits. He quit racing for good. He did show a few times in the early 50s, a few exhibition races. However, his days in the British League were over in 1947. Lionel returned as a pilot. He learned all that stuff from the Air Force, right? He was a good pilot and everybody thought he was excellent. And he went ahead and he got a job locally as a commercial airplane pilot. Then a few years later, he went over to Pakistan. Pakistan! And he was a commercial airplane pilot for Pakistani Airlines. And then after a year, Lionel retired. He came back home to Australia. Lionel was a heavy smoker, but he was not a drinker. Lionel lived a quiet life after his speedway and pilot days. Probably just wanted to chill like most of us. And he lived a pretty nice life. He probably was chilling after the speedway and the pilot days. However, on May 19th, 1987, at the age of 78, Lionel Van Preg, he passed away. <coughs> Lionel was surrounded by his wife who stayed with him for all those years. He had a daughter and he had two sons and Lionel's body was cremated. 1990, Lionel was inducted to the Australian Hall of Fame. He deserved that one. He deserves a few Hall of Fames, as a matter of fact. He was an amazing guy, and he was just a good person, and he was a strong-willed person. You mess with Lionel, you get on his bad side, you're in trouble. But we appreciate you. We appreciate Lionel. What a great champion. He was a cool dude. I hope he didn't cheat that first world championship. Rest in peace, Lionel Van Preg. We appreciate you. We appreciate you hanging out, enjoying these vlogs. If you get value, if you like these vlogs, please like this video and subscribe. We appreciate you. Thank you very much.